begin up with the session like yesterday we was about to deal up we was about to end up with the chapter 2 we'll try to do it today and uh, we was dealing with the equipments in regards of the plumbing and we have discussed some equipments in terms of the water supply and in some equipments in terms of drainage as we was about to yesterday was, was discussing about an equipment which is nothing but a grease interceptor and that grease interceptor will be as a part of I can say a drainage kind of equipment over there because it is generally in the drain side isn't it so let's further continue uh, what are the equipments more uh, will commonly seen in the plumbing industry so as we have seen this and next is what after once we have seen this next equipment is what I do have is a hair interceptor now the moment I tell you about hair interceptor I think by the name itself you can identify or you can understand what is a hair interceptor now hair interceptor is a kind of interceptor which is being uh, just here for and this is generally being seen in the below in the shower area or in the shower drains you'll be seeing this or a laboratory tray why because at the moment someone has taken a bath and something especially I'm saying that just try to uh, visualize this what happens is mostly the people some who have especially with ladies when they have bath and all this we'll be seeing there'll be n number of hairs on that isn't it on that floor drain and all this and some hairs will be entering into the drain line and isn't it and sewer lines what happens in that time is after getting again and again repetition of this it might clog or block the line in some day or some time after once has been to avoid all this what happens we do have an air interceptor which is just here to just to separate the hairs and only the water goes over here okay this is an air interceptor and there is no design criteria for this but for the grease interceptor we do have a design criteria how to design up inshallah at the time of drainage I'll let you know how to design or how to size up a grease interceptor okay but as if now we are not into the designing we are just learning what are the basics here plumbing required so that we have not yet started the designing part the moment we start designing part after uh, water side we'll be proceeding with drainage at that time we'll be inshallah dealing and we'll be seeing how to design this or how to size a grease interceptor so likewise hair interceptor is nowhere designed because hair interceptor does not have any calculation because it generally comes from the company as in this as a standard volumes like 40 mm it should be actually this is for 38 it's wrong because 1 1 by 2 is 40 mm so it directly comes okay and directly outlet connected to what under the shower tray and you people know what is a shower tray or you can say a floor drain in the bathroom directly connected over there so it acts as a mesh over here for example here is our floor drain online try to relate this online in classroom here this would be the top okay the water is entering in this manner okay haze and all this also this goes actually this is not two pieces this is a cross-sectional area what they are trying to say so we are having a complete strainer over here as you can see this is a strainer so what happens when this hair it gets stuck over here in the strainer and only from this holes and all this the only water passes okay now when this has been completely filled the water goes up and this way only the water comes out okay and you can see we have a plug over here a clean out I can say it is used for the maintenance purpose as you can see here also a small kind of thing it's nowhere showing this is a clean out so it's a clean out you can open this and it is generally used for the maintenance purpose okay and once in six months and all this you can just open and this maintenance people will be maintaining this I mean this just removing this all the impurities or this hairs and all this which has been caught in terms of this bathroom area okay so this is how a hair interceptor works this is there is no sizing for this generally as I said to you because what what sizing would be doing because one bathroom okay we know this much of drain that's it directly from the company's 1 1 by 2 inches or 40 mm directly I'm attaching to that the floor drain in the terms of bathroom area okay so no sizing over here if now let's read about this now hair interceptor is designed to retain or hold the hair from the beauty shops because in beauty shops they might take shower also isn't it then hospitals or wherever hair clogging nothing but a blockage I said you're clogging uh, a cl clog in the pipe because of this it might have a blockage after some time of the water system is a problem the removal perforated stainless steel basket uh, retains the accumulator hair before it can pass through the sanitary sewer system the same thing it is separating the hairs over here by means of a strainer he is trying to say and this is made up of mainly stainless steel as you can see also isn't it you can see this okay there is no sizing requirements for this interceptor as if 
like we do have for the grease interceptor there is no sizing required over here all units are made with a 1 1 by 2 that is nothing but a 40 mm of standard pipe size okay and then size inlet and outlet are capable of handling drainage volumes of standard 1 1 by 2 pipe that means on the both sides this is also 1 1 by 2 and this is also 1 1 by 2 mostly okay so and generally it can be seen under shower trays i don't think so we do have over here and all this but uh, as per the standard projects and all this mostly in gulf countries it is there over there mostly especially if they have a different bathroom for ladies and all this you'll mostly find this okay so this is a hair interceptor now next having one more kind of interceptor that is now oil interceptor now oil interceptor is generally being seen in the service stations now service stations like example i can say where the vehicles is being uh, cleaned okay or else in terms of petroleum uh, petrol pumps or the gas stations you'll be seeing this oil interceptors because once anyone is maintaining or cleaning this area because it's a petrol pump and all this there might be some kind of uh, oil or something like uh, any kind of you can say uh, petrol or grease or something over there when they clean this it the water mixes in this way isn't it and that is what that is combustible material isn't it so for that reason i need to separate this both the things oil and as well as the water to avoid any explosion or to avoid any fire or something on that particular area likewise this would be most commonly seen in terms of what the servicing station where they will be cleaning their vehicles and all this because the moment they spray the water, okay, uh, apart from uh, on the complete vehicle, we know this, it touches to the oil and all this also, and the oil and some grease items will also be draining out when we are cleaning that, okay. So generally and commonly, you'll be seeing this, oil interceptors, it's the same kind of concept, likewise with the kitchen sink, you can say, only here is just in the application is changing, and that's why here it is called as oil interceptor, and the function is also same. It is just here to separate the oil. And again, one more thing I can say again, oil is what? Light in nature when compared with what? Online. Water. So obviously it will float. Okay. And what is done? They will be having one uh, vehicle. Well, will be coming and this will be suck, doing a suction over there and they'll be taking that. They'll be draining it. I'll say you how. First of all, let's read it out and how exactly it looks like first of all. I think if people have seen in some gas stations and all this, this top kind of cover, it looks like a manhole. It's not a manhole. It's an oil interceptor over there. Okay. It is very hard and very rigid. Okay. It can uh, bear a good weight also. I'll say you. So oil interceptors have been used in plumbing waste systems and wastewater systems, you can say, to help protect property, as I said, might be explosion and the environment against explosion, fire and pollution. Oil interceptors are designed similar to the grease interceptors. Now you can relate. The function, the mechanism is 100% same as of the grease interceptor. Classroom, any confusion? Same thing, same thing. Okay, just here to separate the oil. So oil interceptors are designed to similar uh, to the grease interceptors. Both work on the same principle that oils are lighter than water and thus the gravity causes the oil to rise to the surface of the water. Isn't it? Now. An oil interceptor can help separate oil from the water, flows out of the car parks, as I said you, okay, and road gullies and delivering vehicle storage units. So this might be seen in the car parks area again. Why I can say this car park area? Because here, if I say you, I can't say here, if I tell you about uh, Gulf countries and all this, what happens in the car park area? Uh, and in this country, especially in Gulf countries, uh, there is a system that I could not have a vehicle which is very bad in condition, rusted or uh, very bad like dust and all this. I could not because they will challenge on me as per their laws and all this. So we do have a, a guy over there, Harris or something, who cleans this our vehicles. We give some amount of money, they will be uh, washing our vehicles. So obviously there I need to have this oil interceptor because when the moment he washes, it's not only the water which has been cleaned the car. In that water I'll be having is what mixes up with the oil also. That is combustible for sure, isn't it? So that's what. So we'll be seeing this in terms of the car parks area or in the service station or the petrol pump or the gas stations, what I said you. <clears throat> now how it works? The solid baffle plate, this one, hmm. the solid baffle plate opposite to the inlet uh, to the oil interceptor diffuses the flow into the interceptor and lessens the turbulence of the oil laden water as it enters the intercepting chamber 
solids in sludge carried in the water are stopped by the baffles and collected in in solid retaining bucket between the inlet and the flow retarding baffle such accumulation can then be removed i think you're getting confusion i'll say you now if you see in a physical manner if i have two things over here like i do have an grease interceptor and i do have an oil interceptor very side by side you could not judge which is what because it looks almost the same as per the interior because inlet and outlet the shape will also be the same but i can say unless and until i open the lid and see because in oil interceptor i'll be having much number of partitions whereas in kitchen sink i do have only one baffle i mean one hurdle over there uh, only uh, this one I said you but here I'll be having two to three partitions because I'm dealing with oil so there are chances the oil might get over here again some over here so I'm doing what I'm filtering more and more because when I compare the oil okay he'll be here more but still amount of some amount of oil will be over here but again this will be filling again some amount of oil will be over here so again some amount of oil will be over here that's why I'm creating more and more barriers over there because I'm kind of what I'm doing I'm kind of uh, I can say I'm straining over there or I means uh, meshing over I can say I'm trying to minimize as much as oil as you know this again what happens at the top I'll be getting this and this is a kind of bucket over there here I'm having a bucket over there the moment they open this you'll be finding a bucket over here okay so what they'll be doing if it's small they are taking this and dumping somewhere or else if it's for like a big thing over there where they are at the petrol pumps and all those gas stations what happens it is a explosion kind of thing because the temperatures are very hot so this could not be always kept in this way so okay they have some indications over there okay now this is fill they'll call so the municipal okay they'll be coming and they'll be doing the same suction process like they do generally in gulf we don't have as what the sewer process i mean the drain line we do have septic tanks mostly over there isn't it online mm. nowadays they are doing because of unfortunate rains and all this isn't it so nowadays they are doing so what happens they'll be calling okay they'll be removing this they'll be pouring this pump and they'll be sucking this oil and taking down okay because it is combustible because of that so huge temperatures also this might cause an explosion not submersible pump like same i'm telling about a municipal uh, vehicle a big vehicle i think you have seen in gulf countries which becomes and it it'll it'll just suck from the soil pipe and all this i mean all the sewage of the human excreta and all this isn't it and they'll suck this and they'll carry in their container in that uh, i mean a big container will be having in that vehicle they'll be sucking and and storing there and they'll be dumping somewhere in like uh, uh, very far away from the city isn't it so that's what the same kind of thing but they'll not dump this they'll be keeping it to storage they'll be using for some other process okay so that is why this is not being easily directly delivered once this is been done the oil has been separated now this can be uh, the only water can be drained out to the sewer line because or else what happens again it might create some gases and all this and that is very dangerous it might cut fire also isn't it so that's why it is not recommended to have this so you need to do this process then you need to leave into this line okay and as i said make sure this has n number of barriers over like two to three okay yes oil interceptor so oil interceptors are sized according to the rate of incoming flow it might be then in gallons per minute and that flow would be in gpm that how much gpm i mean how much the water or how much the oil and water is coming that we need to first of all know because based on that only i can size up the uh, uh, oil interceptor for indoor applications flow rate can be calculated by adding the maximum discharge rate of potential water sources for example a standard 3 by 4 Host connection will be discharged approximate of 10 GeO. Don't worry, this is something designing related. We'll be seeing this later on. But just now, just see. Example online, consider this is a gas station. Okay, from here the water and oil is mixes up. It's coming in over here. There is one barrel. Oh, okay, there's a huge space over there. Again, this should be vented. I said you can you see this? This is again air gap over here. It should also be vented, right? So see, these are vent pipes over here, here, and here. It needs for sure, right? So now, here it's coming, okay, and it's being dumped. Okay, now you can see this. This, can you see this online? This some dot kind of thing. This is nothing but oil, which is now, it has been dumped, and this is going above because it's light in nature, and it is 
on this surface again this oil is been dumping over here in this manner for sure and I do have a very below line I do have a, a, a line and only the water has been going over here and again when this has been filling and discharging now this will be sucking so see one barrier two and three here according to one two and three isn't it so there will be a number of things so this is just kind of an information or you can try to relate this how exactly it is working the same principle only here they are trying to remove the oil likewise with the grease interceptor but here we do have a different more barriers or I can say the baffles over here it will be having more or the number of partitions you can relate in any thing in which you can uh, easy to understand okay so these are some equipments what we are gonna see or what we are gonna deal with and further so I hope you got this uh, chapter 2 also now we are done with the chapter 2 let's proceed with the chapter 3 now